Hello, and thank you for choosing the Clarity BT914 Amplified Cordless Phone. We hope you enjoy our product and want to give you a little bit of information to help you better enjoy your experience with the BT914. First, when you open the box, the user guide, along with other documentation, is found with the unit. So if you want to refer back to any information we cover in this video, it's all there for you. To begin, plug the telephone line into the jack on the back of the answering machine base station. Plug the other end of the telephone line into a phone wall outlet. If you do not have landline phone service, you can still use your BT914 by connecting to a cellular phone through Bluetooth. We'll discuss that connection later on. Next, plug the power supply cord into the jack on the back of the base station. Plug the other end into an electrical outlet. Install the provided batteries in the handset's battery compartment. Before you use the handset for the first time, we suggest that you charge the batteries for 16 hours. When you first power on your telephone, it will prompt you to set the date and time and to set up the answering system. Adjust the date using the dialing keys on the handset to enter the month, day, and year. Then press the select button. Use the dialing keys to enter the time as well. The display will then prompt you to set up your answering system. Hello, this voice guide will assist you with the basic setup of your answering system. You can use the voice guide to walk you through the process of setting up the number of rings before the answering machine picks up, record the outgoing message, and other answering features. Once you have set up the initial settings, press the green phone button and listen for the dial tone. That means you have installed the phone correctly. Let's take a look at some of the features on the answering machine base unit. First, you'll notice a button labeled Find in the cradle. When you cannot find the handset, press the Find button and the handset will start making a tone to alert you where it is. This side of the base has all the controls for the answering system. This screen will show you whether and how many messages you have waiting for you. These volume controls will turn up or down the volume of the message playback. When the phone is not in use, the buttons also control the volume of the ringer on the base. This is the delete button. It will allow you to delete the message that is currently playing or press it twice to delete all previously reviewed messages. This is the play and stop button for messages. These previous and next buttons navigate among your messages. Press the previous button during a message to start it over, or press it twice to jump back to the message before. The next button will skip to the next message. The power button turns the answering system off and on. The Bluetooth light indicates when a Bluetooth device is connected to the phone. You can connect a Bluetooth-enabled cell phone to make calls over your cell phone line from the BT914. You first need to pair your cell phone with the base unit. Begin by pressing and holding the Bluetooth button on the base. Next, turn on the Bluetooth function on your cell phone and scan for discoverable devices. Choose Clarity BT914 from the list of devices on your cell phone, then follow any further instructions. If your phone asks for a PIN, the default is 0000. You may need to repeat these steps a couple of times for the connection to work. Once a Bluetooth-enabled phone is connected to your BT914, you can load your contacts from the cell phone to the BT914. This feature is found in the menu on the handset. Scroll to Bluetooth and press Select. Then select Download PB. On some cell phones, you may need to press a button on the cell phone to enable the download. The contacts are now saved in your phone book on the BT914. You can also choose to connect a Bluetooth headset to the BT914 to use for calls. You'll find that in the Handset menu. In the Bluetooth menu, select Add BT Headset. Put your headset in discoverable mode and select it on the handsets list when it shows up. Once your headset is paired with the telephone base, the Bluetooth 2 light will turn on. Let's take a quick tour of the handset. Next to the earpiece is a small light. This visual indicator will flash when you have an incoming call. 
This is the speakerphone button. Use it to enter speakerphone mode at any time during a call. You can also use it to answer a call in speakerphone mode. The RD button is for redial. Use it to review the redial list of phone numbers previously dialed. Once you find the one you want, you can redial the number. The mute button will mute the sound going out on your end of the phone for added privacy. It can also be used to silence the ringer when there's an incoming call. On this side of the handset, you'll find the volume switches to raise or lower the volume during a call. On the other side of the handset is the boost button. It will enable the boost function to give you an added level of volume amplification up to 40 decibels. If the boost mode is set on automatically in the menu, the boost button will turn off the boost function. The green phone button is used to make home calls. Use it to answer an incoming call or also to switch lines if you have call waiting. To make a cell phone call, use the cell phone button on top of the green phone button. This will allow you to make a call from your cell phone line using the handset of the BT914. Enter the number as normal, then push the cell phone button. To end either a home or cell phone call, press the red phone button. The phone book button allows you to see the phone numbers you've saved in your phone list. You can save phone numbers that have called you in your caller list or add them through the menu. To access the caller list, press the caller ID slash down arrow key. You can navigate through the caller list with the up and down arrows. You can call back a number that called you by pressing the green phone button. Delete them from the list by pressing the mute button when you are on a caller ID listing you want to delete from the list. To save a caller ID listing to the phone book, press the menu when you find the entry you want to save. Select to phone book, then use the dialing keys to modify the number and name. When you're done, hit select to save. To add new numbers to the phone book, in the menu, scroll to the phone book, select it, and choose to add a new entry. Enter the phone number up to 30 digits, then hit select to move to the name. Use the dialing keys to enter the name. Press one to add punctuation and zero to add a space. While entering the number or name, you can use the mute key to delete characters and the up and down arrows to move the cursor around. Hit select when you're done to save the entry. You can access the phone book at any time when you're not on a call by pressing the up button. Then you can navigate through the entries to call the number in the phone book. You can delete a phone book entry by pressing the mute button on the entry. You can also choose to delete all phone book entries in the phone book menu. Navigate to the delete all option and press select. You will then be prompted to confirm you want to delete all entries. To set up the ringer, arrow down in the menu to the ringer's item. You can change the volume of the ringer for home calls or cell calls with the up and down arrow keys. Press select once you get the volume at the desired level. You can change the ringer tone from this menu as well. Arrow down to home ringer tone or cell ringer tone and select from the options using the up and down arrows. Press select when you have the desired tone. The telephone settings section of the menu helps you with features of the phone that may come in handy. First, the language option changes the language used in the menus. Use this option to select from English, Spanish, or French. Voicemail number allows you to set the speed dial for voicemail. Clear voicemail will turn off the voicemail indicator if you have already accessed the voicemails that the indicator is showing. Maybe you checked them away from home, but the voicemail indicator is still flashing. You can clear it here. Key tone will beep when a key is pressed. Home area code is a feature to help you when you only dial the seven digits in a phone number for local calls. The dial mode changes whether the phone uses tone or pulse to dial out numbers. Select auto boost to adjust whether the boost function is off or on at the beginning of a call. Boost can be turned off or on during a call using the boost button on the handset. You can also select the tone that best fits your hearing needs. You'll find it in the equalizer item. You can choose from three options, natural, treble, or bass. 
This can help you get the best tone for you to hear more clearly. We hope you enjoy your new Clarity BT914 Amplified Cordless Phone. You can find all of these instructions in the user guide included with your phone.